Now, I'm not the kind of person to make a video over a singular tweet, but this is something that I've been putting off for the past few days because of how unabashedly tone deaf and out of touch it comes off as. Let me provide some context here because there's some that I need to give. This tweet was posted on November 1st, 2023, made by Katie, aka the social media manager for the Sonic Twitter account, basically being like a brand manager of sorts. They posted this singular image right here, and you don't even have to take a close look to realize just how unabashedly tone deaf it is or just how wrong it is to say that we're eating good, which is a phrase that I keep hearing over and over in regards to Sonic lately, when honestly it's not even true at all. But anywho! I'll be going over each part within the image here, just to show how dumb this is to say most of the content not being good. Now this is one I feel like I don't even need to discuss since it's, well, a marketing tactic. A marketing tactic for fans that's going, hey, it's those characters you're like. They're relevant again. They're not going to be in any games though. And it's hard to believe that I'm supposed to be taking this seriously when they're basically pretending saying that these characters have always been relevant despite the fact that they've always been shafted for the lesser part since 2008. I feel like that's probably the most egregious thing about this whole stunt. But I feel like this just comes off as extremely disingenuous on their part, especially with it just mostly being a merch pull and the same four characters and maybe plus Shadow. And it's really hard for me to believe something like this. And I feel like that this stunt is basically going to be a financial loss, basically like the year of Luigi, except probably not as bad. Me fucking around aside, the best that I can see this is that it's just Sega throwing a bone at people whose favorite characters have been irrelevant for the longest time, and this is their only way of their existence, with them collaborating with a bunch of well-known artists, both to those who have an online presence and some that are just regular artists slash cartoon creators, which is I think the most neat part about this thing, but I still can't help but feel like this whole thing is just extremely disingenuous. This is a visual novel. There's next to no gameplay in this besides the one part where you're running through this little thing, but it barely even counts as it because it requires little to no input. Next. Dog, I could make a whole video about everything that went wrong with Origins. The fact that you even tried to consider sneaking it onto here is extremely egregious due to how much of a horrible mismanaged mess it was. What makes it even worse was that everything still hasn't been fixed with it. And the DLC that's been offering with Origins Plus feels like an out scam when the fact that there's collections prior to this from almost 20 years ago honestly feel more worth it than this. The only thing I really concede on is the fact that most general audiences won't know about things like Absolute Air Restored, things like that. But that's the only thing I really concede on since most Sonic fans already own all of these. There is no purpose to it, because I can assure you most Sonic fans just prefer that other better option, with it being the ultimate collection for fans, when it isn't. I have no idea what the collection is for regardless, and I feel like the notion of the content being somewhat acceptable is wrong. It's genuinely baffling how much of a miss Origins Plus was, and it definitely does not help this image's case here when it's saying that we're full of content, despite the fact that this re-release is literal sewage. Next. Alright, I'm willing to concede on this one, just this once so far, only because it's Lego, I can't really get mad at that. I don't collect Lego, I haven't collected it since I was a kid. Like, the only thing I could really get mad about is considering random ass merch to be a part of content or equating it to the video game or entertainment content when it's toys, but still, moving on. This is the only thing of actual substance here, and I will fully concede on this. Because it is something worthwhile, the content is is above subpar, which is surprising because the bar was already astronomically low. The only argument here is that it all should have been in the base game. 
That's it. Moving on. Who's the enemy? Who's the enemy? All right, I'm not going to go too into detail about Sonic Superstars, but as I'm making a video talking about my issues with the game and the game as a whole, really, and I'm going to give a quick TLDR of it. I hated the game. The multiplayer just made it even worse, and I've had no desire to go back to it, but that's just me personally. On a objective level, Sonic Superstars is not very good. I, I assume that they spent more time fine-tuning the earlier parts of the game, which explains why it's received nothing but positive reception. The game becomes a lot worse with it being co-op. It's It makes the game even worse. That's it. I'm not going to say any further with it because I want to make a video talking about Sonic Superstars and my opinions on it, personally speaking. But objectively, it's not, it's, it's not good content still. I don't want to dwell on this one for too long because I want to hear about it. But yeah, moving on. This one, I can't really comment on much either because the game's not out yet. I don't care personally because it's Sega Hardlight stuff, so it's probably not going to be that great. The only interesting thing it has going for is that it has playable characters that haven't been playable for almost 20 years. Actually, no, I think it has been 20 years since Cream, since Cream was last playable in a mainline Sonic game. Uh, my, my big issue is really just... I guess locking this behind a thing that only six niggas on the planet have access to. And even then, it probably will just come to consoles like a year or a couple, not even not even a year, just like a couple months later. So yeah, I don't got much to say about this one. It looks whatever. Moving on. <laughs> now obviously I was kidding around with Sonic Prime Season 2, but I still feel like it, it's just not worth including since the content for Sonic Prime is incredibly generic and inoffensive. I've been working on a video talking about my issues with the show entirely so far, you know, going through episode by episode, but um, it's, I guess it's worth it. the the inclusion, I don't know if it's warranted here or not. But I still think that it's not very good content to suffice while we're waiting for, you know, the, the next game in line. And this is just something that I feel like isn't worth discussing. Not only that, just because I'm working on my own video about, you know, Sonic Prime. And I seem to notice that that's the general consensus when it comes to Sonic Prime with it being, you know, not good. Moving on. You bet your ass I'm finna go to this thing. The thing is though, I have heard complaints. Apparently they've canceled for some of the other countries they're supposed to go to. So yeah, that's a big issue. Another thing, it's not really a world tour if you're just going to America, some parts of Europe, and that yeah, that's about it really. And I guess Australia and Japan. Like they everywhere else, yeah, it's off limits because it's not really a world tour, it's just a regional tour. I don't fucking know. Either way, I do like it. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna be fucking sitting my ass down on December 27th at the fucking theater that I'm going to that's in my city, so I got no complaints here. I'm gonna concede on this one just because I'm gonna be real excited for that thing once it comes around. So yeah, I'll be fully conceding on this one because I feel like the content is actually good. So yeah, moving on. Moral of the story here is that I spend my time getting mad at random brand managers on Twitter rather than, you know, doing something productive. Am I a bit too pessimistic? Probably. I still feel like most of the content here isn't warranted to say that we're eating good, especially with how people are endlessly praising it when the praise shouldn't be happening in the first place or the praise is the bare minimum. The moral here is try not being a drone about this stupid franchise because... As much as I want to say I like it, it still really hasn't gotten better. At most, it's just gotten slightly better from when we were like a couple years ago, but we still haven't reached to where I could say all the content, including external media, is good. So yeah, I'm getting mad at pixels on an image. I'm gonna go do something, I don't know. Anyways, this has been me, Mario. I'll see you in a couple months, maybe longer. 
and thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I've been working on this video for like the past two weeks for some reason, even though this should have taken me like a day. But yeah, during during the production of this video, I hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. I, I cannot, that means the world to me, genuinely. Anyways, and take it easy.